Okay, we have a, an additional chart that we send out with our workspaces. We already know that our two main charts are the 8 Simrico. This is our main chart, right? 8 Simrico. You see trends, big trends happen with the 8 Sim. Here's shorts only when you're red, green, buys only when you're green. This is the 8 Sim, our big time frame. It has our supply demand lines on there, which are really accurate on the large time frame. You can see how it stopped the market on this break retest up here. Broke, retested. Inside of an ATR, we had an opposite color speed bar. That's a beautiful setup right there, here, and also on the end top. Then we had red ATR, had some good shorts in there with the five Simrico. Now this morning, we're moving back up. We have some good buys. So this is, we know to trade off of this. This is our large time frame. Anytime you are red on this time frame or green, you be sticking on that side of the market. And then we have the five Simrico, which are smaller time frame, where you can see since midnight, we want to try to buy inside of these zones. I just did a video, played the previous video on this. Here you go. This is our main zone we trade off of, 4538. But what happens if the market gets a, a, a lot of speed? How can we trade it? How can we trade momentum? So we know to trade off those two charts. Normally around 80, 85% of the time, we're looking at just trading off these zones, these 45, 38. That happens quite a bit. But what happens when you get, uh, when you get outside, I mean, when you have really speed in the market or news comes out? There's an additional chart that we send, this one right here, that we send out with our workspaces. We already sent this workspace out. You know, it has market profile on it also. You can change it on your chart how you want to. This is high value area, low value. So if we get outside these levels below low value, you tend to get really big runners on ATR trades. If you get outside a red HVA volume profile, you tend to get big runners. So you leave, leave this in the background to let you know when these big ATR trades possibly could happen. Um, so we played the last video to understand how we trade off. These are our main charts, right? What happens when we get a lot of momentum? We use this chart. I have additional zones that I have provided to traders that are members on any market or any stock, currency, futures that you trade. And the additional zones, there's three, there's three total zones, which is six lines. So Right now we have in the room, I show my main zone. This is it. The market loves to come down to the zone here this morning, get inside the zone, pop, inside the zone, pop, inside or at the zone, pop, pop. And now it just finally broke up for the first time since midnight at uh, almost nine o'clock here this morning. So that's our main one. But what happens with the mud additional zones? I have a shallow zone that I, I provide on this workspace and then also a deeper zone. The deep zone is up here. You can see it's deep. You won't, when the market's fast moving to the downside, we never hit the zone. Um, typically, if you're really running hard to the downside or upside. So this is yesterday at the close. Vice versa, if they're all green, you typically don't hit this outside zone. The outside zone is my golden ratio zone. It's what I, um, if you ever got my how to trade the news events, I love the 62% retracement. That's what this zone is. So that's good for chop. I like using that in chop days, which I'll go over in a second. But if the market gets hot, and you want to trade a momentum trade, how can we look at these S&P runs? This is 60 down to 25, right? So that, that's a that's a, uh, a 35 S&P point move from in a matter of 30 minutes. That's a big S&P point move. Well, this chart can help you get some of these level, I mean, get some of those momentum trades like this. And, and how it works is, since I have additional zones, I have I have three total zones. Remember, I have my one zone, 4538. That's our main zone to trade off. This is our main zone to trade off of, right? We want to trade off of that. Play my previous video on how to trade off these zones. But what if the market just gets super hot? 
and we want to trade momentum. What if it never hits this zone? If the market's too hot, sometimes it just hits a shallow zone. When the market's hot and it goes vertical with news or it's just the market's really fast, we want to try to get into the market and try to get a piece of this 35 point S&P point move in 30 minutes. So how we can do it is I, on this workspace, I provided my two additional zones with a total of three zones. I have a shallow zone. This is our main zone. And this is our outer zone. So the rule of thumb is this if trading this chart. There's only two ways to trade this chart then. Okay. The two ways to trade it is this. First is momentum. My outer zone was already red before these start printing. But if I get all six turn red right there. So this level here. Right there. So all of them turn red. Six red dots start printing. That tells me I'm in a possible move down, hard move down. Right there. So what I want to do is I want to look for the first shallow retracement that has a green speed box. Same way that we apply in a 4538, we're going to apply ourselves in a shallow retracement. So once these start printing green optic color speed bars, we know we got a possible reversal. There they come up. We got a beautiful doji, which is an indecision in buying and selling right at the high. More importantly, I'm crossing down through 90%, 90 level right there. So the break, the low of that doji was your fill, and the market just got crushed. All right, that's the first wave. When trading momentum, I like trading two waves. I like trading the fast wave, or the wave three and wave five. This is typically wave three and wave five. The second opportunity we get market gets crushed I don't care about red speed boxes I'm in a downtrend once I get a retracement right there it is green speed box I want to look for this one also it's at my shallow retracement zone there I go below 90 percent you get filled at the low of this bar stop loss at the high two ticks above the swing high and the market gets crushed from here too those would be your two best shots at taking it short, here, here. Now what happens is, is the market starts getting cranked hard, you will get an additional third one that comes up. I like taking the first two. You get away with the third one sometimes. Here, here's actually the third test. Went right to it, never got a speed box, but you did get pulled in. But here's your third opportunity with the speed bar, there. I wouldn't push it past three after the ATR start, start, start printing. It goes below 90%. Because what happens is, if you know anything about Elliott Wave, after your impulse three and five wave, you go into what's called an ABC pattern, and you get this. Stop outs. I mean, you may have got your first target. This one you wouldn't have. This one you would have. But my point is, is once you start seeing these ABC patterns come up like this, right, where you already move down hard on the momentum chart, it likes to do one thing. It likes to come up, test the outer edge, my 62% retracement, typically get a nice trade off the first test off that, and then we get a change in trend. Comes up, we get a change in trend, and then she starts rolling back the other way. So the best opportunity is when it first changes six red or six green. Let me show you a buy setup. Excuse me, all green here. You gotta wait all six though. It doesn't come up very often. Here it is. So here's all six green now. This is in the afternoon, 1.30 in the afternoon. Right there. They're all six green. Oops, let me give a close on mine. Not a horizontal, vertical. Hold on a sec. Right there. So that's when they turn all six green. You're going to have two shots at it. Third shot's kind of aggressive if you keep it tight. 
stops tight should be okay but I like the first and second ones the best you can see we turn all six green that first speed bar is a time to look for the pop it's a big move I mean you're getting filled the highest bar 4604 the highest 31 another 26 S&P point move using this momentum chart here's your second opportunity the third one happened to come on my outer edge zone and there we go so that's how you want to do it the second way to do it and you don't have to do this is if we're in a chop market and the moving averages are flat or horizontal if you got red on the green on the bottom and yellow or red on top you're going into an ABC market or chop market right you see this see how there's yellow on top or red on top and green on the bottom that immediately off this chart tells you you are in a chop market you're no longer trending don't look for big ATR trades period a don't trade at all unless you get back into trend right B sell or buy the outer edges if you want to trade chop these are the outer edges outer edges right the 62 percent retracement the outer edges only way you want to do that chart it should stop right at 60 to 62 which it does see how it stops at the low here that's right at 62 60 62 and stops up here you're in a range now if you wanted to if you want to be patient say hey I'm just gonna wait until they all turn six green or red because the moves are so pronounced you can do that also right but the other way you do it is to see if it's shop chop or trend all right just like that all right Gerald shut that off Hey, Gerald, shut it off, man. I'm going to put how to capture momentum setups.